Hey, what's up YouTube? Joe Gas here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of an application known as Flow, an FTP client for Mac. This is by far the best FTP client I've ever um, actually dealt with. In my opinion, it's cleaner, faster, and all around better than, I think it's called, I forgot the name, than Fetch and Cyberduck, because it can be used for SFTP. The developers of this application was kind enough to send me a license for review purposes, but by the time they got back to me, I had already purchased the application via the Mackeys Nano bundle. So, you see giveaway on this title of the um, video, I'm going to be giving away a Flow license for one of you lucky um, subscribers. If you want to get in the video, just com the giveaway, I mean, just comment in this video. That's all you have to do and be subscribed. Your comments don't count, so if you comment once, it's only going to count once. If you comment twice, it's only going to count once. So, basically, that's it. Now, let's get on with the review. As you can see, it has a nice little rainbow swirl type of icon. And... Flow actually just crashed, so it actually has a report function, but um, I'm just going to ignore that for now. So when you first open it, it's going to look like this. It's a really nice window, and it's very similar to the Finder once I get into it more. So let's just connect to um, a server. I'm going to connect to my iPod. It asks for your server, the username, and the password. I'm going to choose SFTP and click connect. As it's loading, I'm logged in as root into my iPod. Alright, so we have a couple features. There's view options. As you can see, similar to the Finder, there's multiple view options you could do. Another really thing I like is this arrow feature. So say I go into library and I want to get my preferences instead of clicking on the folder I just press this arrow and I have Apple preferences right here go back we could refresh and another really nice feature is the quick look option so let's go to root I'm gonna go to media I mean library sorry actually I'm gonna go to the slash and then library themes um, let's go to my trichome theme, which is a really nice um, type of theme I just downloaded. So I have the wallpaper. We could quick look that, and if this loads up, the quick look menu comes up, and I can see the wallpaper that I downloaded on my iPod. A really nice feature, guys. Goes away. Um, and then you could obviously drag that to your desktop, and now I have the wallpaper downloaded on my computer. You could obviously drag it's files in and other stuff like that. So it's a really nice function. And, and also, we could drag this. We, if you want to move this, just press the Move button, and you could choose where to move that specific file and just list the path here. So if we want to move that, we can choose the destination. All right, that's enough of that. Let's disconnect. That's basically the basics of Flow. Now, if you see around here, we have all these different options. The only thing we're going to be going over is the bookmark feature, which I've never found in any other FTP client. So if I go to um, new bookmark, or the plus button, I can add a bookmark or a bookmark folder. I'm going to add a folder since I want a category for my websites. As you can see, it shows up under the bookmark category. And I'm going to name this sites gonna also add another bookmark of a site that I want to put in there the name of this the bookmark is gonna be Phonebot, and now just type down the information add bookmark so we have the bookmark there and just drag it into the sites folder so now we have a folder sites and there's Phonebot. double click it and it connects for those of you that really don't know what FTP is, if I go to public.html, for example, and drag in a text file I have lying around, it is the winner's document to see who won my last giveaway. It's in there now. So let's go to Phonebot. 
dot org slash winners and as you can see those are the winners in my giveaway now listed it basically read the text file so I'm gonna press the delete key actually right click delete or command backspace and delete and same holds true quick look features and all you could also add a normal bookmark so I'm just gonna add one for my iPod and it's just gonna lie right there above probably below alright so I have a nice little bookmark category and this is basically flow let's check out the preference menu you have ground notifications as you can see when I dragged in a file a ground notification popped up notifying me when um, it was actually downloaded or uploaded into the server now you could choose your default FTP client which I'm gonna switch to flow now um, edit with flow so basically your default editor could either be within the flow application or you could edit with an external um, eh, basically it editing external editors so basically if I want to add an editing thing um, you could mess around with this and add applications it's really quite interesting of what this can do um, registration it's registered also I want to point out that flow has tabs also I haven't seen so I'm browsing my little um, iPod and I also want to browse PhoneBot I could go to flow file new tab and in that tab I'm gonna browse my iPod so basically I can move these around here I'm browsing my iPod here I'm browsing PhoneBot if I want to put my iPod in a separate window drag it out and there you have my iPod in a separate window this is really revolutionary I'm not just saying this because they because I'm reviewing the application I'm saying this because there's no FTP client as fast as smooth as simple as flow and I don't think there will ever be that's flow for you guys um, hope it was as detailed as it could be remember to get in and win this application for free comment below and be subscribed have a nice day guys and stay tuned for more videos